An overview of the process that we follow in order to protect your brand sales and also to protect your consumers, specifically on Amazon, it goes a bit like this. You have to have something about your product that takes it outside the first sale doctrine. It could be something pre-purchase, like your storage, your shipping, your handling, your quality controls. It could be something that arrives with your product, like the warranty. It could be something after the sale of your product, including customer service or training. Once you have this thing built into your product, this added consumer benefit, now the brand protection mechanism is rather simple. Number one, you have to monitor every single listing of every product within your brand. We use customized software. We have an entire team that does nothing but monitor our clients' listings. And the monitoring has to show you not only who is selling your product without your permission, but have they come back onto your product sales without your permission? Are they repeat offenders? Because then they get treated a bit differently. Number two. The process must entail, it must include sending persuasive cease and desist communications. Now, cease and desist communications go to the sellers who are unauthorized to sell. They identify why they can't sell your products and they also set a firm deadline. You wanna put a firm deadline into your cease and desist communication so that everyone is on notice when your complaint is gonna come down the line. We do that because it makes the cease and desist communication more effective. When the third party sellers know that there's a strict deadline, they know you mean business, they know they better stop selling or contact you and work out a license agreement before that date comes. The last step is the actual complaint on Amazon. Complaints on Amazon need to be both accurate and written properly. So when it comes to brand protection on Amazon, you have to one, get it outside the first sale doctrine. Number two, monitor your listings. Number three, write effective cease and desist communications. And number four, when it is required, make sure your complaints are valid and also well-written.